Well done, so well done, Connor. Well. You fourth overall white jersey. You happy with how things went? Yeah, it's really good. First rush and all that. Didn't know what to expect going in. Really, really good legs and it's good the fact I was never ridden off a wheel. Just missed a few moves and a few decisive moments. So apart from that, yeah, really good race. Happy how was today for you? Was there any complicated um, moments? No, it's not. Couldn't do anything at all. It was really controlled and then finishing circuit wasn't hard enough. No chance to do anything at all. No. What do you do now with the next few weeks? A uh, few easy days now. Fly to Canada tomorrow morning and I've gone on the 23 World Cup. Then I come back for a week and I've got Brook at the May end and then Nationals. And after that, do you know what the yeah. Yeah, Europeans? Yeah, Europeans, Tour of Pyrenees, Britain, uh, World Championships. So Kurt, the team had another good ride today and finished off with those with the King of the Mountains with Conor McConvey's fourth place and uh, White Jersey two stage wins so are you happy with the overall campaign? Yeah I'm very happy if, if I could get this at the start of the race they say yeah you can get all this I would be really happy um, general classement was not possible we need a little bit of luck and for that it ju just didn't turn out right and uh, for that we were too strong from the beginning we show our cars quite soon but that, that was the goal I directly wanted to show that we were in the race and everyone got an opportunity I think every rider did it of the team uh, high placing or high up in the classement so I think every guy in the team really did really well Mark has had some difficult times since crashing two years ago in this race so how important is his performance in, in the Ross for his confidence I think it's really good for the confidence, but now it, it, it only starts. Uh, this was a proof that he has a lot of capabilities, that he has a lot of uh, initial class, and now it's a matter of uh, getting more and more results. So that's where we're working on. And, but this needed to be out of his head. The RAS is always a main goal for Mark. So, and now he has finally a success. And uh, that's nice to get it out of the way. Conor McConvey, it's, this is his longest stage race. He's started stage racing this year. So, fourth overall, best young rider. Was that above your expectations coming into the race? Yeah, that was, uh, that's why I brought McNally and uh, McConvey in. Uh, I wanted to have so much options as possible. And I know the young jersey was uh, almost a security for us uh, to get something home if it would go bad. McConvey is a guy with a great potential, where we only see small things of, and uh, he's developing uh, every day, he's learning every day. I can conversate with him, uh, and he picks up quick, and he's in a very experienced team, and in this case, it needs to go quick for him. Uh, he's already third year, but he's uh, making years good really quick. You've got obviously a few months left in the season, so what will be the key races for you and the team? Uh, with different riders, I work to different keys. Uh, like with Nico and Peter, I work to the Nationals in Belgium. With the Irish guys to the Nationals in Ireland. With the young riders like McConvey and McNally, probably Europeans. And then later in the year, I, I hope to do a good end of season. With, uh, if Tour of Ireland goes ahead, Tour of Britain and some uh, the Belgium classics at the end of the year. Are you happy with the progress of the team? Yeah, really happy. Uh, a, we had a really good start. The classics were difficult due to bad luck, uh, a lot of crash, crashes. Then we take a time out to do training camps. We did it and this was almost the main goal of the season. And if you see that we are really riding well in Belgium, really aggressive, having a jersey there on the podium and then here so many things we bring home, it cannot go any better in my opinion.